Headlines. So Bobby Robson has left Newcastle in a tearful goodbye. The 71-year-old thanked all the players. Him, what's his name, Feli Milad, Thingy, <laughs> and that bastard Alan Shearer. <laughs> and with the Athens Olympics now finally over, the disgraced Greek sprinters emerged from hiding, still denying that they took drugs. <laughs> Our team captain, Phil Tufnell, has also been busy over the summer, and it's obvious that he's put the skills that we've taught him on this show to good use. Our sumos have to pick up their bricks, <laughs> make it up through a bowl, make it not slip up this ramp. This will all be spinning, it'll be an absolute nightmare. Down to the other end. They have to take... <laughs> Now, a lot's happened since the last show. We've had Euro 2004, the Olympic Games. But most important of all, we've gained a new team captain. So please welcome England and Arsenal legend, Ian Wright. Hey, enough. With Ian and Rory this week is one of the most familiar faces on EastEnders, which is its own Olympics for sport relief. Apparently it's still going on. Someone told me recently that Leslie Grantham is for the high jump. It's Adam Woodgett. <laughs> with Phil and Jonathan is a genuine footballing great who had a fabulous career with Arsenal, Celtic and Scotland, but is best loved by football fans for his spell managing Manchester United when he got them relegated. It's Tommy Doherty. <laughs> We crack on with a round devoted to the most famous Lothario in English football who doesn't have to pay for it. Sven Joran Eriksson. So let's celebrate our bespectacled Romeo in a special quiz and find out just how much you've learned. Ian, Rory and Adam, here are your first questions. Mm -hmm. Sven Joran Eriksson released a music CD recently. What was it called? Sweet F.I. <laughs> no. I bet it was something by Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> it was Shaggy. It was Mark Palios. <laughs> it was only. I think he's quite fancied Nancy Dillio. Where do you stand on Nancy Dillio? Yeah. She's blokish. Reckon. <laughs> really? well, nah, come on. She's, what what have she's mannish. What have you heard? Mannish. She's, she leaves the toilet seat up. <laughs> This is a very effective woman. Tell me, what are your man of experience? What do you think about? Nancy? Yeah. Very nice. Jack Palance with boobs. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been able to get the image of Jack Palance with boobs out of my mind. It's a very powerful image. It is a powerful It's a very good video. <laughs> Come on, this is meant to be a quick round. Sorry, no, yeah. sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, was, uh, I believe it was a classical comp, wasn't it? Something like music pleasure hit classical hits by... Mm. Music, music to shake. Music no. to... to um, classical hits by me, Sven. My favourites. No? <laughs> is it classical music? It's a catchy title, Ian. Well, so well. I'll, I'll give you that. The answer is, I in fact, that. Sven Joran Eriksson's classical favourite. Apart from playing her selections from his CD, according to Farrier Alam, what does Sven insist on doing before commencing the act of love? Lose to Portugal. <laughs> Very touchy with me, that is, Robert. Sorry, mate. No, Sorry, no, because you're an ex-England hero, aren't you? Well, Legend. Well, Legend. I like yeah. to think so, yeah. but, yeah. you know, no, no bad England stuff. We, we're going to win something soon. You could manage England right here. I mean, that's your next go, mate. What, yeah. What, with what Sven's just done, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the best job in the world. I mean, he, have you seen him watching a game? He's pissed off to be there. He could be shagging someone. He's, like, watching a game. <laughs> <laughs> If you've read the story, you'd remember this. Okay. I, 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 
It, it, there's something really it's something sad like and he, stupid. He, uh, mops up the kitchen floor or something. Yeah, I'll give you that. He clears away any dirty plates and loads the dishwasher. Hey? <laughs> Hang on a minute. He, he, she's there. Yeah. Legs are kimbo. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she, may be, she may be at the door going right there. Let's... All right then. Well, can we do the legs are kimbo? It's a better no, image. Want. Better <laughs> image. <laughs> and then he says, it's best of his nation. <laughs> don't move. <laughs> don't, I know what's coming. Don't move. <laughs> I'll be right back. Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> As a skillful and sensitive lover, what did Sven pause to do while he and Farrier were intimate? I love the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> this so, is a big part of the story. Come on, you should be able to get What there. do you mean? Pause? Pause? He paused. So they were being intimate and he paused because he had something else. And he stopped halfway he through... So he stopped... <laughs> he stopped halfway through sex? Yeah. Is there a half... Yeah, but in his case... <laughs> You know, it's just, that's gone over my head, isn't it? Because where's halfway in sex? Well, I suppose they worked out subsequently that this happened halfway through. I don't think he'd planned it. I don't think he'd set a timer, put it that way. Did because I'd say, well, I've got to stop, sweetie, the clock never lies. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. We're halfway through, look. Uh, did, he, did he want to get it all over in the first half because we're shit in the second half? <laughs> no, 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 Adam, we don't do England, so, man. No. <laughs> Your Nancy phoned up and he said, I'm in the middle of something at the moment, darling. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, that's virtually it. He's He's really? paused. He paused to take a phone call from his then girlfriend Nancy Delolio, <laughs> and they had a shouting match. Absolutely true. Whoa, Which typically no. for Sven, he lost from a winning position. <laughs> Sven makes love like he plays football. He likes to knock it in early and then cling on desperately for 83 minutes. <laughs> Jonathan Thanks, and mate. Tommy, Come here on, are your questions now. According to the Daily Star, what did the ageing Swede give all the girls in the FA office on Women's Day last year? Good she into. No. <laughs> Chlamydia. 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 No. <laughs> I think it's one of those gifts that, that you know, keeps on giving. Yeah. <laughs> How does he get his end away so much? I mean, you look at him, he oh, looks wow. like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. <laughs> Come on, what did he do? He's a Lothario, he does the classic thing. Uh, does he give them roses? Roses, he gave them roses, well done. What did Sven do to Farrier recently that took him 52 seconds? I imagine, being a Swedish gentleman, he's quite efficient. And whereas yeah. most of us would mock those who finish so quickly, I think the Swede, you'd have to admire him. No time for <laughs> foreplay, no need to mop up afterwards, in and out, ruthless efficiency. <laughs> And that's just putting up the bookcase. Well, <laughs> a good, a good <laughs> he's got his grommet here and his grommet no, there. Okay. Before you know, he got Dowling Rod A into <laughs> loophole B without <laughs> even the Allen key. <laughs> Why do they call it an Allen key, by the I way? Because Allen invented it. Which Allen? Allen key. key. Allen key. <laughs> <laughs> 52 seconds. Didn't you manage QPR for about 52 seconds? <laughs> oh, seemed long, actually, it seemed longer than that, actually. 53, no, 28 days. 28 days? Yeah. Why, well, what went wrong? Or uh, why? I got the sack. Oh, well. What for? Well, the chairman just phoned me one day and says, I'm calling that day, and I said, well, don't be silly, Mr. Chairman, you're doing a fantastic job at the club. <laughs> So what did Sven do to Farrier oh, yeah. last week that took him to um, uh, He sent her a fax or something. He... He sat on the fax machine. No, fax no, no, no. Have no. you ever done that? He's a grown-up, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get something straight, Phil. The one, Phil, yeah. you can photocopy your arse, OK? Yeah, I've done it. You can't fax your arse. <laughs> Really painful. <laughs> you go into the machine like that. I'm going to tell you. I don't know. Make a phone call with Nancy. He dumped her in a phone call. According to Farrier, Sven was complimentary about her breasts. Ooh. How did he express his admiration? Great pair of tits, love. No. <laughs> you see, that's where you and Sven differ. That's where, I was that's where the urbane, sophisticated. Polyglottal Sven <laughs> differs from you, Polyglot. you tramp. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas? It is, if you'd heard what he said, you would never forget he it. He said, oh, and my it... goodness, what lovely wobbly jubblies. <laughs> <laughs> That's your gay German it again! Doesn't <laughs> I don't know why he speaks like I've never met him. I suppose he speaks a bit like that. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, David oh. Beckham. What are you doing today? <laughs> That's close enough, isn't it? He actually compared them to a South American mountain range and said, and this is actually true, I want to get my handies on your Andy. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's right, I first love him. The scores at the end of the round are 
Phil's team with two points, Ian's team with three. All right! Our next round features a couple of sporting tiffs, Ian, Rory and Adam. Here's Arsenal storming their way to an unbeaten triumph in the Premiership Ooh. last season. But, and wouldn't you know he'd act like this, Sir Alex Ferguson reckons that Arsenal weren't worthy champions. <laughs> so why exactly does Sir Alex feel like this? Ian's team. It's nice to have a bit of an Arsenal question because one of the greatest legends in Arsenal football. Here I'm today. worried, you said it wasn't... No, come on. You've got to live with it, You've got to live with it. You're, You're a genius. Uh, Rory, You're come a on. Genius. And they are really struggling without me, can you tell? <laughs> I'll give you the statistics now. 287 appearances, 185 red cards. <laughs> Thanks for that, Ross. Yeah. Doc, you um, you played for Arsenal, didn't you? Yeah, four years, yeah. Yeah, excellent. But, but it's, it, football has changed a lot since then. Oh, I mean, yeah, earlier. tremendously. I mean, the wage structure, and as Ian just talked about, the influx of European players. Yeah, and they've got a solid crossbar now instead of a tape. <laughs> <laughs> also, so nets. Yeah, nets. nets. Yeah. But, you, but you think footballers are overpaid? Do you think they are now? I mean, well, when someone like Wayne Rooney can afford 45 quid for a Liverpool prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, I mean, seriously, do you think there's a role for you in the, in the Scottish national setup now? As a player? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, 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 yeah
Yeah. I mean, I believe that our pet got told off for petting in the pool earlier on. They almost <laughs> lost. They only got off with the bombing when they realised it was spelt incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, while we're on the subject of the Olympics, I think we should, uh, you know, offer our uh, uh, condolences to poor Paula. Paula Radcliffe, yes, of course. Oh, I don't know about that, though. No, Fizz, you can't, don't know. <laughs> no. I was out, when I was out there, against Australia, 600 for one, I couldn't just go, oh, I don't fancy this, I'm nipping off to the pub, you know what I mean? I, I had to stay you out there. that! I said, you did that lots of times! I had to stay on the pitch, you oh, know what I mean? No, no, I'm not having that. I'm not having that, that. Oh, finish, not having that because she's trained and, and she, something's gone wrong with the fueling of her body, I think. Well, I, I felt that every time I walked on the park, man. Before that, because she was frightened of being fourth. Now, when I did the London Marathon in 1993. You never felt like that. I was 1237. Yeah. And did I pull out thinking, no, I can't. No, I plugged away. Well, that's the I, plugged away. I plugged away the whole 26.2 miles and finished ninth from the end. That's fantastic. <laughs> you know, Rory, you've got a very valid point there because I think she, she didn't finish because she wasn't wearing like a rhinoceros suit or carrying a tray. <laughs> I won't have it knocking Paula. I'm not knocking Paula. I don't know. Yeah, but Phil was knocking her. I, I, I did think, think, I must admit, when I saw it happen, I did think, you lazy cow, and I was going to turn <laughs> off. I was going to turn off, but the remote control was on the coffee table. <laughs> It was one of the, um, I think it was an Ethiopian runner. He turned around when he was. Uh, what, Foster, in a woman's no, race? No, no, not on that. <laughs> Sorry. Brendan, Brendan Foster turned around and said, w. "Would you run the marathon?" And he said, "What in Athens? No, forget it. It's too hot." Yeah, yeah but there was a, but then there was one comedy who said, "Of course, Greece, Greece is no place to run a marathon." Yeah. it's where it started, <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> I think it was an Ethiopian who said, "No, I wouldn't run a marathon in Greece. It's too hot." Well, it's bloody hot. Yeah, but he wasn't. All, to mate. be fair, he wasn't an Ethiopian athlete, was he? I don't know where he was. He was just a fat bloke from Ethiopia. Ethiopian doesn't make him a marathon. Yeah, that's why he Could be a taxi driver. I was disappointed with the scoring. Some of the scoring was just, it was just seemed to be made up as they went along. Why don't they just give everyone a goal? Make it like the A-levels. What's going on? <laughs> it's rubbish. In what, in what sense? Well, the athletics, when A they level. were jumping around on the poles and stuff, they were going, oh, you scored too bad. They were booing and standing up. They went, oh, we made a mistake. They scored it again. <laughs> they were jumping up and down on the poles. Whatever they do, it's not a real sport. <laughs> Basically, most of it isn't real sports. It doesn't involve a ball or proper walls, does right, it? Okay. Throwing that hammer, how hard can that be? You get a big, thick, sort of dikey looking girl, make a spin round, say, let go, bingo. It's <laughs> no disrespect to the athletes, but how hard can it be? Yeah. Javelin yeah. throwing, you're throwing a stick. <laughs> throwing a stick. If a dog caught it and brought it back, then I'd be impressed. <laughs> throwing a stick, it's not a sport. <laughs> you know? You know the answer? Um, no. I think he's saying youngsters too soft. They haven't no, got yeah, no, the... No, sort of it. The, I got it, I got it, I got it. They got it all on a plate. They ain't got to work because, for it. They're getting all the because, shades. They're getting because, all the money. Because, because... They've got it on a plate because they get it too early. How do they get it? Money. Yes, how do they get the money? From the government. Someone yes, gives it to them. Yes, thank you! Well, according to Darren Campbell, it's all the fault of the lottery. Most of the athletes, funded by lottery money, fail to even make the team for Athens. And Darren reckons easy handouts has made them all soft. He also accused some slackers of squandering their money on PlayStation games and DVDs. One of the most heartbreaking moments of the Olympics was when Paula Radcliffe pulled up in the marathon, although on the plus side, I don't have to pay her any sponsorship money. So that's good. At one pound a mile, you do the maths. <laughs> Controversy still surrounds Greece's two top sprinters who missed a drugs test and then claimed they were rushing to take it when they were involved in a mystery motorbike accident. I'll remember that for next time, instead of watching O.J. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if they win the lottery, these young athletes... They don't win the lottery, the money... <laughs> oh. He's thinking, they're very lucky, all these sports people keep on the money. What a coincidence! Oh, Amazing! So... I must go down to the Olympic Village and buy my random lucky dip tickets there. <laughs> And at the end of that round, Phil's team have five points and Ian's team have six. Right. OK, this next round is a new one where our regulars have to show a bit of sporting prowess themselves. The object of the game is to reveal and identify some sporting images. And the teams do that by pedalling like mad on this state-of-the-art exercise bike. Now, the harder they cycle, the faster the pictures are revealed. There's a point for each one they get right, the captains start, and then when they hear the klaxon, they have to tag their other team member, and they swap, okay? And you keep going 
until the time runs out. Ian, you're going to be starting, yeah, and your time starts now. Ian, right, you don't chill. No, no, right, 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 right Think Colin Jackson's Go, Brady. Right. Go, Brady. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're enjoying it. Go on, keep going. Right. Who is it? Oh, Lawrence Delaney. 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 Lawrence Correct. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You can go faster than that. Oh, no, no, no. That could be a football. That could be a football. Don't go. Let's go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Go, 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 Shepard, yes, pedal, pedal, pedal roll! <laughs> Serena Williams! Serena Williams! Ian Wright! Ian Wright! Andrew Colt! Yeah. Two more for Andrew! Ian Well done! Very well done. Well done to Rory and Serena there. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, Phil, the cat. Are you just ready? Up the Time starts now. Go. Get on with it, Rory! Go, Phil! Go, Phil! Go, Phil. Tommy, go on, here we go. Oh, oh that's got a hard. Oh, 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 Come on, Master Phil! All right, come on, he's so it's, it's a no. Shrek. It's Tim Edwards. It no, Shrek? it's not. It's someone else. Andy Friddle! Andy Friddle's uh, job is correct. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. Pedal faster. 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 It's, it's a cricket ball. It's, it's a cricket ball. It's, it's a cricket man. It's a stumps of the ball. Stumps is a correct answer. Next one. It's a swimming head. It's a I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put my, because otherwise I'll whip it. Get on there, you know. No, I don't, I don't whip it. I'm going to, I have to warm up. Go. Because, I, because, I oh, know, because I've got, I've got, I've got to warm up. No, I've got to warm up. It's not, I don't want to watch it. Thank you! You're such a bird. Right and you have to warm up. The kids are watching, you have to warm up first. Oh, oh go, go, Rossi! Go, Jerry! Yes! Come on. Go. Great hair dryer! Hair dryer, correct, yes! <laughs> More. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. Hand me a curl. Oh, oh God. No, 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 no. Carry on, Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carry on, Ray. I can't help it. So go, 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 go. Sharon Dunn. Go, 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 go. Keep. Oh. Can you pass? Oh, you've done well, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Keep going, Bigger. And at the end of that round, Ian's team have 12 points, but Phil's team have got 13. Oh, well We finish with the name game, the team in front goes first, which is Phil's team, which yeah. means that Jonathan will be doing the quiz. Oh, Tommy, can him. you pass those down to well, Jonathan, I'll please? Well, we're both exhausted. I don't hold all our hope. OK, as Just many check share. names as you can get in. Okay. The allotted time, the time starts now. <laughs> Face like a chimp, street slims with old age pensioner uh, hookers. Wayne Rudy. There you go. Uh, oh, let's stand up for this one. Saluda. Lots of gold medals. Lovely girl, good six-pack, runs very fast. Oh, K K Kelly Holmes. Yes. <laughs> All right, this bloke, uh, he was just sacked and he's in lots of adverts, which is rather embarrassing, wearing a black and white shirt. Uh, second name, same as Jerome and it was a singing team. First Jerome name, Sir something, and he was... Sir Bobby Robson. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Oh, this is the uh, same name as the uh, son of a former Prime Minister who was arrested recently, and aren't you delighted that she's still around to the see the same... Mark Thatcher. Mark Thatcher. Mark Thatcher. Yes. 
Well, no, it's not him, though. I'm oh, just no, talking no, about it because I'm no, delighted. Aren't you delighted? Yeah. First yeah. name? First name. This is a footballer, uh, and his first name is Bill Ann Thatcher. Ben Thatcher, OK. All right, uh, this guy used to play for United. Uh, it's something you break this regularly, I believe. Uh, rules. You, you break the... The, 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 the law. Yeah, and it's Danish law. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Oh, you shouldn't admit to it so publicly, <laughs> like, okay. uh, This is a, a sailor, he won the gold medal. Ben Ainsley. Oh, well done, you. All right. This bloke, ugly bloke, big face, looks a bit Shrek. like Wayne Rooney. Yeah, there you go. Uh, first name. First name is the same as Prince. Shrek ain't got a first name. No, Prince Shrek. Prince. <laughs> no, it's not Shrek. It's a Prince Charles. Charles oh, Shrek. Charles, Charles Shrek. All right, this is uh, a Greek, Greek for blowjob, more or less. Pepper oh, Funnel. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the second part of the name, is a dodgy channel that shows uh, programs about Cars and strippers. Men and motors. Similar. If you had an offer, you'd go, you want more, you go, oh, a Billy Moore, you go, oh, bravo. bravo, and first name, Dwayne Bravo. There you go. Oh. Congratulations. Right. Well, this is what they, the ladies oh, call me in Italy. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> It'd be absolutely fantastic if Dwayne Bravo's name was Dwayne Men and Motors. <laughs> <laughs> that would Bill. be fantastic, wouldn't it? So he's moved on to 22, which means 11 will do it. Uh, Ad, if you could pass those on to Rory, please. Thank, thank you very much. Should he look first? Is the music no. stopped? <laughs> Come on, right. Time's got now. She, she's a whip. She dropped out the marathon. She Pull her right. Pull her right, Craig. He now plays for Real Madrid, having played his... Owen. Michael Owen. Oh, very good indeed. He's can British, hear you. British Olympic show jumper. Pippa Funnel. <laughs> <laughs> Last name, they're under your arms. What are they called? Pip. Pip. Um, yeah. Uh, Pez. Little animal with a, with a nice... With a, sexy girls are called this. Oh, she's a nice... She's a bit of a... Fit. Philly. No. <laughs> they've got a tail. I don't know. Move no, on from people have them. What? Lambert. Fox. 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 Pippa Fox. Pippa Fox. William, William Fox Pitt. Pippa Funnel. Yeah. Pippa Funnel. Yeah. <laughs> Manager Crystal Ballas. <laughs> You're old um, club. Um, Ian Dowie. Now he's a British triple, triple medal winning cyclist. Um, Wiggins. Yeah, that's right. First Bradley, Wiggins. Yeah, Bradley Wiggins. Bradley Wiggins. Bradley Wiggins. Indeed. <laughs> Liverpool striker. He looks like a negative photograph of Matthew Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is that cheating bastard Swiss referee uh, who refereed the Portugal. Tom the, the goat, like. the goat, it looks the like Tom Watt. It's Swiss. His first name sounds like something you put a coffin in to drive it to the... A hearse. Uh, uh, well, you're on first name terms, and that'll do. Uh, yeah. uh, this guy is the Scottish play. Scottish plays in New Zealand and America. Yeah, and his first name, same as Rossi's. Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan Macbeth. Uh, a flamboyant e e e golfer, friend of yours, English golfer. Colin McGoffin. Put it in power, yeah, in power, power yeah. man! Oh, shit! <laughs> There were a few shenanigans that went on there, but it doesn't make any difference because Ian's team have got 19, but this week's winner is Phil's team with 22. <laughs> Phil, Jonathan and Tommy, my name's Nick Hancock, they think it's all over, it is now. And they think it's all over returns next Thursday night at the same time, 9.30. And tomorrow night, screen legend Paul Newman and Christian Slater spend Friday night with Jonathan Ross. A new BBC One series starts at 10.35.